A possible end of the pandemic as scientists working at a breakneck speed say they will have a vaccine by September. In fact, as we speak, the first human trials are taking place in Europe. CBS 13's Adrian Moore is live with this possible breakthrough and how quickly it could happen. Adrian. Elizabeth and Tony, the team at Oxford University believes this vaccine has an 80% chance of being effective. And the first few million doses could be ready, as you mentioned, by this fall. So I need a scratch. Elisa Granado is the first volunteer in the world to give the fight against coronavirus a real shot in the arm. I'm a scientist, so of course I want to try and support science, um, the scientific process whenever I can. Human yeah. trials like this typically take years to develop, but it's taken a team of scientists at Oxford University just three months. I have a high degree of confidence about this vaccine because it's technology that I've used before. Of course, we have to test it. As part of the study, half of the 800 people recruited will receive the potential vaccine, developed from an altered version of a virus found in chimpanzees. The remaining volunteers? A vaccine designed to prevent meningitis. None of the volunteers will know which one they were given. Until a vaccine is found, countries desperate to reopen their economies may look to Sweden. The nation has kept its schools and businesses open to help the population build herd immunity, a goal they say they'll hit in a matter of weeks. We are not uh, telling people to stay indoors. I think that's um, a, a very important part of our policy. Back at Oxford, scientists concede the only way to know if their vaccine is successful is if many of the volunteers are exposed to coronavirus. But with the UK still under lockdown, They'd have to go somewhere like Sweden to do that. Last month, researchers in the U.S. gave the first injection for a vaccine trial at a Kaiser facility in Seattle. That study, by the way, is testing a group of adults over six weeks.